Hey guys, what's up? This is Sachin from Startex City and in today's video, I am going to show you how you can flash or install TWRP recovery in your Android device without root. So friends, without wasting your time, let's get started. I guarantee friends, this is the simplest tutorial ever you have seen in your life. In this video, there are two cases, case one and case second. Case first is how to install TWRP without root for one time uses. It will be automatically deleted after one time uses. So friends, this method is used to provide your warranty or to avoid your warranty loss. And it is the best method and recommended for all of you. And case second is how to install TWRP in any Android device without root for permanent use. In this, your warranty will be void. So friends, let's get start the video. First of all, you have to download this. This is the RAR file. So it is uh, of 70 MB and you have to extract it. So first of all, we have to extract it. Just extract it from there. Now, as you can see, this is TWRP without root folder comes up. Now you have to open it. After opening it, you will get six files in it. Three and three is equal to six. Two of is ADB setup, two of is Qualcomm drivers and MTK USB drivers and two of is guides for one time and permanent uses. So all are necessary and recommended. So you have to install one by one. First of all, you have to install ADB setup. There are two choices for ADB setup. Uh, it is uh, based on your computer specifications, which one will suit for you. Uh, almost uh, ADB setup 1.3 is suited for all windows. So we have to first go for ADB setup 1.3. If it is not installed properly, then we have to go for next version. Otherwise we have to set up ADB 1.3. So let's get started. And just double click on it, ADB setup 1.3. Now accept it, yeah, click on yes. Now here it will ask for, do you want to install? Just press Y and enter, Y and enter, and it will take some time. And again, press Y and enter. After that, it is showing a new pop-up wizard that is uh, <coughs> welcome to device driver installation wizard. Click on next. Here uh, you can uh, uh, that, so show that that status is ready to use. Now you can use it if uh, there is wrong symbol it means you have to go for next version otherwise you have to click on finish and it will be automatically closed if you want to check is it properly worked or not is it properly work installed or not then go in local disk and here you will get adb folder if it doesn't appear here it means it is not properly working so you have to go for another version now again <coughs> go to that folder. Now you have to install your USB drivers, your mobile USB drivers. First of all, you have to know about your C mobile CPU processor. If it is Qualcomm Snapdragon, then you have to go for Qualcomm drivers. If it runs on MediaTek processor, then you have to go for MediaTek USB drivers. If it is on Kirin processor or other Samsung, then you have to Google it for your uh, specific uh, USB drivers of your model. So uh, mainly there are two MediaTek and Qualcomm uh, commonly used. Uh, so my phone is ported Qualcomm. So you have to extract it. If you go for MTK, then also you have to extract that USB driver. So I am going to install US Qualcomm drivers because my phone is Qualcomm Snapdragon ported. So I have to extract it. Now it is extracted, go to that folder. Now click, double click on setup exercise and press yes button. After that, a pop-up will open. Now you have to just uh, default it. Uh, it. Now click on next and again next. Now accept the license and agreement. Please read it carefully uh, and now click on next and install button. It will take some time and ask for reboot to install USB drivers properly. So as you can see, it is finished now. It, it will ask for reboot. If it doesn't ask for reboot, then don't worry friends, it means it is properly installed. If it asks for reboot, then you have to reboot your PC or laptop. Now friends, it's time to watch up one time TWRP guide and permanent TWRP guide. So if you want for one time, then open one time TWRP guide. These are the commands, first, second and third command. If 
uh, you want to install it for permanent uses, then this is permanent TWRP, only one command. As you can see, only one command. Here you, oh, this is recovery, rec.img. Only one command difference is there, friends. So this is what they, 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 there it is. You have to type also here after recovery. So friends, this is the permanent TWRP guide as you can see. Now it's on your, so first case is one time TWRP guide. I am uh, showing you one time TWRP guide. So just uh, open one time TWRP guide and put in background, cut it. Now you have to download your TWRP from twrp.me slash devices. Link is in description. You can download it from there or where from you will get it. You can download from there. Mine, mine phone TWRP is that. So you have to copy it and just copy it and put it in the uh, local disk ADBC. It means you have to put in ADB folder, just paste it and rename it rec. Only rename it rec because .img file, it is already disk image file. So just rename it rec. Now open your command prompt. Just uh, press window and R button. Now just type CMD and press enter. You will be in your CMD folder. Now you have to paste one by one these commands. So this is first command, just copy it and now just paste it there and press enter. You will be in ADB folder. Now again copy second command, control C and paste it there. So friends, this is done. Almost 90% it is done. Now you have to connect your phone in ADB uh, mode or fast boot mode with your computer. So let's do that. And after that, you have to press enter. So let's do that. Before connecting your phone to your PC, you need some settings uh, of your phone. So go in settings and last part of the phone that is about phone. In about phone, just uh, click on uh, found, search for build number and tap on five times. Now you are a developer. Just go back. After going back, there is an option of developer option. Just click on it. Here you will get USB debugging. You have to turn on it. Just click on it and then press OK. After that, it is turned on. Now you have all set for uh, uh, TWRP requirements. Now just go back and switch off your phone and go in fast boot mode. You can go directly from by do, uh, pressing volume down key and power key e continuously and simultaneously. Okay, I am doing that. Okay, guys, as you can see, I, my phone is in rebooted in fast boot mode. This is the fast boot mode of my phone. You can do that uh, very simple according to your phone. So, guys, now you have to connect your phone to your PC by data cable. So, I am connecting it. Now it is connected. Now put it inside and let's start the process again. Okay guys, now just press enter button and as you can see after pressing enter button it will uh, finished. Okay and finished. Now you have to type third command. If there is a problem like waiting for device or USB device doesn't recognize then you have to watch the video which is on the eye icon. Then you have to go for that solution. After that it will be solved properly now follow oh, my steps after that doing that so now just paste third command and this is third command control c and now paste it just paste it and press enter button and after pressing enter button as you can see downloading ok and boot imz so this will be finished and your TWRP will get soon hooray yep TWRP is now booted friends and you will be successful uh, uh, into your TWRP. Hope guys you like this video and as you can see friends if I go for swipe to allow modifications this is one time TWRP. I will show you I am going in reboot 
and now click on recovery after clicking on recovery do not install and now i am in my official phone's twrp it means friends it is only for one time uses uh, and this is the proof friends this is the proof friends that i am in original eui my phone uh, in user interface is eui and as you can see friends this is my phone original interface so friends this is the first case if you guys if you want permanent twrp then only these are the commands uh, uh, before this uh, fastboot boot rack IMZ, you have to put this fastboot plus recovery dot IMZ. You have to put that in CMD and press enter. After that, you have to copy and paste that command in CMD, and your permanent will be your TRP will be for permanently, and it can be used for permanent uses. So hope guys you will like this video. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share my channel. Good luck friends, keep watching Stardex City.